As Muslims, we are familiar with the word baraka, commonly translated as blessings. We often associate this word to business, to dealings, to transactions. So very often you will find a person making dua or requesting others to make dua for him. That oh Allah grant me baraka in my business. Oh Allah grant me baraka in my home. Oh may Allah grant me baraka in my family. Bless me in every aspect of my life. Many people interpret baraka as the multiplication of wealth, which by its very definition, it's a flawed definition. The scholars explain so amazingly, what is the definition of baraka? <laughs> With minimum provisions, you enjoy the maximum benefit. With minimum provisions, you enjoy the maximum benefit. So you might have a moderate income, you're not earning big money, but wallahi, that little income generates so much of good, that is baraka. Now my brothers, I want to show you in the light of Quran and Sunnah, and before I come to that, when we study the lives of our pious Salafus Salihin, then you would find that many of them had a short life, but they all had a meaningful life. Jalaluddin Mahalli writes, you know, he says, Allaftuhu fi qadri mi'adil kalimi. Allah favored me to compile the commentary of half the Quran, the commentary of Jalalain, which is a kitab, a tafsir, which is taught in so many institutions across the globe, even up to this day. Allah favored me to compile the commentary of half the Quran in the duration that Moses went to meet his Lord at Mount Tur and that was 40 days. Now my brothers, his, his 40 days also comprised of 24 hours. But I swear by the Almighty Allah, what he managed to achieve in 40 days, you and I will never achieve in 40 years. What he achieved in 40 days, you and I will never achieve in 40 years. Muhammad bin Idris al-Shafi'i, whom the world till today is indebted, indebted to the jurisprudence of Imam Shafi'i. Imam Shafi'i had memorized the Quran at the age of seven. He had memorized the Quran and Kareem at the age of seven. At the age of 10, Imam Shafi'i had memorized the Mu'atta of Imam Malik. That is the book of Hadith. Famous book of Hadith, Mu'atta Imam Malik, at the age of 10. At the age of 15, 1, 5, Imam Shafi'i was officially granted permission to issue fatwa and verdicts on Islam. He had become the Grand Mufti at the age of 15. Memorize the Quran at the age of 7. The Mu'atta of Imam Malik at the age of 10. He became the Grand Mufti at the age of 15. My brothers, we have entered into that era. The signs of Qiyamah. What did the Nabi of Allah say? The Hadith appears in Bukhari. Yusbihu nas yatabaya'oon. We speak here about Barakah. The Hadith I quoted before you. What did the Nabi of Allah say? The buyer and the seller are at liberty to cancel the transaction. If you're honest, you are transparent, Allah will give you barakah in the deal. However, the Nabi of Allah says, reverse the situation. In kathaba wa katama, you lie, you fabricate, you deceive, you, you know, you deal fraudulently. The deal might materialize. The money will be in your account. But I swear by Allah that money will go from doctors to lawyers to problems to advocates to worries. Earn a halal income. How many people are there? My brothers, there's something like accountability. You might get away in this world. You know, somebody is traveling overseas. What do we say? I'd rather buy the bottle of Coke in the local supermarket. At the airport, I would pay 10 times the price. My brothers in Akhirah, your salah will go, your zakah will go. And we, let me just exercise a word of caution. There are many people in the community. They latch on to well-known international celebrities. And they feel by virtue of my attachment to a certain individual, Allah will avail me on the day of Qiyamah. 
My brother, you will go in your grave. Every man will go in his grave. When Allah's Nabi made dua of barakah. And really my brothers, we need to be honest. How many of us make dua for barakah? Normally on occasions of nikah. You know, the Imam, the Khatib, he makes dua for the couple. Barakallahu lak wa baraka alaykuma wa jama'a baynakuma bil khair. Allah bless this union. Allah bless both of you. My brothers, let me remind you. You can get the pious of the pious. We look at our functions today. We see what happens. The amount of money that is spent. And then you invite some qarisab to recite some qira. You invite a renowned orator to give a flowery speech. And then music is blasting, intermingling. What barakah do you expect in that nikah? We invite the pious to add a flavor to our function. My brothers, Mullah Ali Qari has written, لو أن وليا من أولياء مر ببلد لنا لتلك البلد. If a friend of Allah passes through any locality, he brings baraka to that locality. In the light of Quran and Sunnah, open Muslim Sharif, volume one, page two hundred and sixty-six, under the chapter. باب من زار قوما ولم يفطر عندهم. Muslim Sharif, I gave you the reference. Volume one, page two sixty-six. The Nabi of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. He comes to the house of Anas رضي الله تعالى عنه. As he enters the house, Anas's mother Umm Sulaim, she comes to the Nabi of Allah and she presented some delicacy, some butter, some dates, which was customary amongst the Arabs. So Nabi Ali Salam tells Umm Sulaim. Keep it aside. I am fasting. She said, "My apologies." So Nabi Ali Salam he then got up. He went to one corner of the house. Fasalla ghair al maktuba. My brothers, you meet someone in the masjid today. You want to take the man home for dinner, for lunch. First thing, phone Minister of Home Affairs. She needs to give permission. How many visitors? So I'm bringing two. Next thing, five pitch up. My brothers, we all know what happens. There's a tsunami in that home. You told me two. You know, inform me in advance. So, so nonetheless, the Nabi of Allah went to one corner. Basalla ghair al maktuba. He performed two rakats of salah. Fadaa li ummi Sulaimin wa ahli baytiha. Nabi Ali Salam engaged in a lot of dua. So Ummi Sulaim, she comes to the Nabi of Allah. She said, "O oh, Nabi of Allah, I know you love Anas. I have one request. Make a special dua for my son Anas." My brothers, we don't know the du'as of the friends of the Almighty Allah, the du'as of scholars and ulama. She said, "Oh, Nabi of Allah, make du'a for my son Anas." Nabi Ali Salam, he made three du'as for Anas. This is a topic on its own. One riwayat, Nabi Ali Salam, "Fama tarak khayr dunya wal al akhira." Nabi Ali Salam asked for the best of dunya and akhira. And according to one narration, Nabi Ali Salam made three duas: "Allahumma akthir mala wa walada wa barik lahu fi ma aatayta." Allah bless his well, bless his children, and bless him in every aspect of his life. You know, when Anas grew up, somebody came to Anas and they said, "What was the benefit of the dua that Allah's Nabi had made for you?" What did he say? He said, "After Allah's Nabi made dua for me, I was the only person in Medina." That my date trees used to give a fruit twice every year. I was the only person in Medina that my date trees used to give a fruit twice every year. Nabi Ali Salam made dua, bless the progeny of Anas. It is said that Anas radiyallahu taala anhu, his grandchildren and his great grandchildren went way over the hundred mark. With regards to the lifespan of Anas, there is a difference of opinion, but one thing is unanimous: scholars have written he lived way beyond the age of ninety. Anas radiyallahu taala anhu. You know Abu Huraira, Allahu Akbar, Urwa al Bariqi radiyallahu taala anhu. One day he comes to the Nabi of Allah and he said, "O oh, Nabi of Allah, give me something." What do they say in English? Don't give the man a fish; teach him how to fish. Nabi Ali Salam gave him one dirham. And he said, "Orwa, go and buy something." Orwa al Bariqi, Nabi Ali Salam made dua for him that Barakallah, Allah bless this deal of yours. With one dirham, he bought two sheep. He comes back to the Nabi of Allah. He said, "O oh, Nabi of Allah, I purchased two sheep. 
I sold one, there's your dirham, and there's the Prophet one sheep. Nabi Ali Salam said, Urwa, keep the dirham and keep the sheep and start a business. Long story short, Sahaba used to say, this Sahabi Urwa al Bariqi, it is said that when Nabi Ali Salam made dua for Barakah, Sahaba used to say, Fakana lawishtara turaban la rabiha biha. Even if he picked up sand, he used to make money out of sand also. One Sahabi came to the Nabi of Allah. He said, Oh Nabi of Allah, make dua, Allah give me baraka. Nabi Ali Salam made dua, Barakallah fi safkati yaminik. May Allah bless your dealings. He said, After Allah's Nabi made dua for me, he said, I used to come home. He said, Without doubt, conservatively, I used to make 40,000 dirhams every day. 40,000 dirhams. My brothers are like today. There are some people who got so much of money, but they can't spend. Why SARS is after them. The money is under the mattress. You know, the tax man, the receiver is after them. Subhanallah, no barakah. There are so many people I recall some time ago. There was one brother came to me and he said, Walana, you know, I, uh, Allah has blessed me with so much of wealth. So, but you know, I have adopted a very disciplined lifestyle. So I said, what you mean, my brother? He said, I eat this for breakfast. Just the other day, a brother told me, he said, Mawlana, before I eat, I weigh the food. I said, for what? I said, my brother, live happy and die happy. Don't kill yourself. So this brother tells me, I've got a, I said, my brothers, you've got animal, animals at home. He said, I've got a bird, I've got a cat, i got this, i got that. I said, what do your animals eat? He said, I give my fish this, I give my bird that, I give my cat this. I said, my brother, your animals are eating better food than you. What is the use of that money? You cannot enjoy it. What is the use of that money? You cannot enjoy it. Abu Huraira, somebody comes to him. Abu Huraira, which were those moments that touch your heart? He says there were three incidents. One was the painful assassination of Usman bin Affan. Number two was the death of the Nabi of Allah. This was a sad moment. And number three, he said it was Miswad. What is Miswad? My brothers, listen to this. He said, I was traveling with the Nabi of Allah. Nabi Ali Salam said, Abu Huraira, Amma'aka Shay'un. You got anything to eat? He said, I got a packet of dates. Miswad. Nabi Ali Salam said, Bring the packet of dates. We speak about the barrukat of the pious. Nabi Ali Salam took this packet of dates. He took his blessed hand and he placed it in the packet. Nabi Ali Salam told Abu Huraira, you eat from this packet, feed your companions, and you feed anybody that comes to you. Abu Huraira says that when Usman bin Affan radiallahu ta'ala passed away, I lost that packet of dates. He said the entire life of the Nabi of Allah, I ate from that packet of dates. The entire reign of Abu Bakr, the entire reign of Omar at the time of Usman, when he passed away, I lost that packet of dates. Somebody asked him, Abu Huraira, how many years did you eat from one packet of dates? He said close on to 27 years. 27 years. My brothers, where is the barakah today? The Nabi of Allah said, you want barakah in your life? He calls little Anas. He said, number one, you enter your house, iza dakhalta baytak, fasallim ala ahlik. You enter your house, make salam to the wife. My brothers, be honest, outside the house, we are ever smiling. Inside the house, we are never smiling. Another man's wife impresses me. My own wife depresses me. We need to be honest about it. Another man's wife impresses me. My own wife depresses me. Anas, you enter your home, make salam. Number two, O oh Anas, don't ever omit the forenoon prayer. That is Salatul Chasht. My brother, before you leave your home in the morning, read two rakats of Salah. Allah will grant you Baraka. Allah will grant you Baraka. We make dua to the Almighty Allah. Allah Ta'ala grant us the tawfiq and the ability that we lecture on to these amazing advices of Quran and Sunnah. Wa ma'alina illa al